so I have all my oils out and I was getting ready to make I need to make oils for my family that I do usually do a batch I don't know probably three or four six times a year and I am delinquent on making my cold and flu roller balls so I have a couple leftovers but I need to really stock up on them because our kids have been sick um, this weekend so I really need to get on it and start kind of protecting them from cold and flu season um, okay so if you have any questions hi Mandy if you have any questions please write them below and I'll try to keep up with the comments and if you're watching this on the replay let me know and then you can post your comments below too um, so I basically just I you know I don't have any certification in oils or anything like that I just read and follow and read and follow people who know a lot about oils and then I I do my own little version based on what they do and um, there is some research for using the um, the germ fighter blend for cold and flake solid research like in medical journals so I'm gonna try to post that below too because I know some people kind of think it's like hokey um, I believe in them I have used them for a long time my mom started using lavender so long ago probably like 20 years ago and it's just one of those oils they call it like the gateway oil because it smells good it's it's um, pretty safe for just about anybody um, it has like so many antibacterial antimicrobial so many properties it's just like you have a problem here's lavender there's a couple other oils like that but it's just like kind of like a really good first oil so then that happened and then um, I think candles I liked candles and incense and then was worried about the off products of all those and so I just got deeper and deeper into oils and then now use them just in so many parts of our life so I'm gonna start by just I'll take you down the business um, and show you some roller balls all right so you can definitely buy roller balls from like doTERRA or Young Living where they come already made. So this is one that I've made, but um, this is, okay, so for instance, this is one that I bought from doTERRA. This is Jasmine because they don't sell it in a, a, a bottle like this. It comes in a roller ball. And there's some benefits to buying the roller ball. First of all, doTERRA's roller balls are way softer and smoother than the, the ones I buy on Amazon. But again, so the ones I, hi Emily, the, we're talking about essential oils. The one I buy on Amazon, they're, it's perfect. I think you can get like six or 10 for under $10. It's just super, super affordable, but it's fun to splurge on some and I'm gonna refill them too. But this is Jasmine, oh, it's heavenly. It's really floral and like romantic and it's really fun. Okay, but onward to the cold and flu. All right, so what I do on a daily basis, so this is not like if people are actively sick, is I put On Guard on them. Okay, so On Guard is a blend. There it is, it's a germ fighter blend. Um, I'll read exactly what it is, what it has in it. No, I won't, but I kind of know it from my heart. It has um, clove, ginger, cinnamon. Um, there it is, yes. Clove, ginger, cinnamon, wild orange, rosemary, and eucalyptus. All right, so this is a good oil to put on every day for yourself or if you're sending your kids off to school. So the kids put them on their feet before they put on their socks or put them on their spine. Um, with everything, you wanna dilute the oil with a carrier oil. Carrier oil can really be anything. It can be lotion, it can be um, sesame seed. I just always use coconut oil. This is defractionated defract coconut oil, which um, it's all over the place. But so this does not have um, a coconut oil smell. I like coconut oil smell, but some people don't. So it doesn't have a smell, and it's always a liquid at room temperature. So you know the coconut oil that people use to cook with. I didn't bring it, the white solid mass stuff. Um, so it has the smell, and then it's a solid at room temperature, which I, it is nice sometimes when you're putting it on kids because it's not lip, you know dripping from your hand before you go put it on. So I like it for that reason. So I have a bunch of different versions of it. Um, so for the roller balls, though, I always, I always use this. All right, so, so simple, right? So I'm just gonna take this off now. I like to use, this is the only tricky part, I like to use tweezers, but um, some of the, when you buy roller balls, they also come with a little tool that helps get it off. I kind of think tweezers are, tweezers are probably the easiest, but um, and you just kind of get under, under the lip on the bottle. I'm gonna do that one, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is an empty bottle and then so simple, right? So this isn't much of a as much of a blend as I'm just making a roller ball 
because this is already a blend. So on guard. Um, let's see, you want to try to buy them directly from the company because there's some rumor, or, or some people say that um, people on Amazon there, and I've seen a little video how they can make the the um, the top fasten. But anyhow, they take the top off and they fill it with junk oil and then ship it to you for a lot of money. But now, so um, for, and again, this is kind of start off slow with your family, but I've been doing this for a while. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do about 20 drops of the On Guard for this vial. So you can do drops or you can do one of these little mammer jammers. And this came with my empty roller balls. Some oils are thicker than others and then you don't, it takes too long, but so, like this one is not thick. So you're just gonna put your drops in. So simple, right? Take your coconut oil and then just fill it up the rest of the way. There. Give it a little shake and pop the top back in. And there you have it. So then it's just ready to roll on, all right? Um, so again, it has the carrier oil already in it. You put the cap on. Um, you can, they sell little stickers. If you have a ton, it's good to have stickers. Uh, so you can buy stickers online or you can just write in. Mandy, it, this is plant therapy, which I just got it off Amazon. It's, you can find it just about everywhere now. Emily, okay, so Emily's asking if I'm converting. Well, Mandy asked about where I got the coconut oil and the brand that's plant therapy and Emily's asking if I'm gonna put this in the diffuser so no so the rollerball is just gonna stay um, and I put a little label on this guy so I have I don't know probably 10 different rollerballs in my purse so I keep them in my purse and then I keep them on our kitchen counter for the kids and I also keep them in their bedrooms at night like I told you I'm kind of an addict but I absolutely love them so then before they get ready for school I just throw it on their feet really quick run it up and down their feet and um, so you what I put in the diffuser, I'll put the oil straight. So I wouldn't add the coconut oil to what I'm gonna put in the diffuser because I think it would just clog it up and be a waste. Okay, girl? So does that make sense, Emily? So we just put the drops straight in the diffuser with water. So this is just your everyday kind of building up your immunity to cold and germs, all right? So then let's say that your kiddo or yourself, yeah, so I mean, this is for the whole family, get sick. So there is, it's called the, like a flu bomb mix. And, okay, so it's the oils, essential oils, lemon, mole molecular, how do you say that? Um, I, don't, I always just say tea tree oil, but it's called different things. But so lemon, tea tree oil, oregano, on guard, what I just used, and frankincense. And then my friend, Dr. Elizabeth Sheehan, who Josh sees sometimes, um, cause she does oil specific to Down syndrome and she's a, she sees patients, um, she's a chiropractor that just works with kids with Down syndrome. But anyhow, she likes to add the Arborvitae, Arborvita, Arborvitae, which is right, the little guy. There it is. She likes to add this to her, her flu bomb too. So that's what I'll make next. And again, it's not hard at all. I mean, I think if you just don't do it, you think there's more to it, but there's really not. And that's why I give this as gifts all the time. So if I have given you as a gift, it was really easy to make. But, you know, it's, it is nice to give as a gift because not everybody has the supplies. So when you have like literally, like all these oils, you can really make people some fun, fun concoctions, you know. But you can just buy two or three oils and still make a lot of fun things because there's oils that people just use over and over and over. All right, so next will be the flu bomb. So same thing, I'll take the on guard and I'm gonna do for this I'm gonna do two drops of everything minus the lemon and I'm gonna do four again I, I can probably do a little bit more just because my family is used to them I've done it for a lot of years but you just want to be careful at first so and that's the on guard and I'll take the lemon which I love the lemon in my water I do that multiple times a day so much that there we go that it's almost gone. I need to order more. So the lemon, two drops of the frankincense. Frankincense is another oil that is good for so, so, so much. One, two. We'll see through this oregano. 
super um, antiviral. So if you have like, I don't know, planters warts, things like that, make a roller ball of that and plop it on. Um, lots of different uses, uses for oregano too. So I've got the oregano, the frankincense. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's everything. Oh, tea tree, that's what I didn't do. So this is what the tea tree oil looks like from doTERRA. It's, sm it's the best tea tree oil I've ever smelled. So I've smelled other brands and it's really harsh and medicinal and this just smells really, it almost smells good. And for tea tree oil, um, that's rare. Okay, so I've got all my oils in there. And then same thing, I'm just gonna fill it up. Put the cap back on. So I usually keep one of these like upstairs and downstairs at our house too. Give it a shake. And that's like the flu, the cold and flu one, sorry. There's stuff at the top. All right, so um, love love both of those. Another one that I have all cold and season in, in multiple rooms is the Breathe Oil. And that made me um, think of something, Emily. So with the any blend I'm doing in the rollerball can also be in the diffuser, omitting the coconut oil. So for instance, um, Isaiah was sick this weekend, so I did that, the cold and flu bomb, and I put that in his diffuser, that mix of oils. So you can do it that way too. But my favorite is this, and um, I don't like a similar one from any other companies. This one is my all-time favorite for congestion and breathing. It's so good. So it's another blend, so it's already, you know, blended for you. It is laurel, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, orange, um, cardamom, yeah, and cinnamon. Okay, it smells more menthol. That's like the biggest smell, but it, you can tell like the, the cinnamon, like the depth and the eucalyptus of it. Okay, so... This is kind of like your Vicks Vapor Rub. So good in the diffuser, it makes the room smell so good. And then same thing in the rollerball. Um, you wanna dilute it again with the carrier oil. And you can just do this one in the rollerball, you know, since it's already a blend. So feet, chest, um, I'll, I'll mix. I have usually in Josh's room, I have this mixed with just regular coconut oil because when I go to put it on them, um, I like the, that the coconut oil is at a solid and then I um, rub it in my hands and get it warm and then put it on his body but that way it doesn't drip all over his PJs before I put it on him so there's just so many options and you can really make it just however you want all right so those are some of the roller balls um, let me know what questions you have again you can get the empty roller balls from Amazon the oils are doTERRA which let me know if you can help with that I didn't I used to honestly I was the one of the people who got them off of Amazon and then I read um, and watched the videos of the people you know, tampering with them, and then so I got a wholesale account, um, which just makes it more affordable to buy the oils, and they come directly to them, and you get points and all that good stuff, but it's really um, an easy process. Okay, so some other things. Obviously, roller balls. Another thing is hand soap. So this, I like to buy, like, seasonal cute bottles sometimes, but then I just refill them, because sometimes we'll, like, the, at our house, the soap might just get dumped, and so the seven dollar bottle of soap is no more in one day so i like to make my own all right so this is an empty bottle um from method at target and i filled up with regular water and then so during cold and flu season i'll do the same thing where i will take the on guard and then put drops in there and then add a little bit of the bronner's soap and then See, I'm not that exact. I just squirt stuff in. And it always turns out. So far. I'm gonna give it a little shake. All right, ready? Let's see if I did okay. It's locked. <laughs> the top is locked. There we go. Okay, so see, foamy soap. Which is so good for kiddos. All right. That's, I love that trick. I mean, just we go through soap so quick. So it smells like the On Guard. Um, of course, like if you wanted, let's say you really love 
pumpkin smell. So you can buy certain oils like a cinnamon or a clove that have that really fall smell and you can make your hand soap really fall. Or let's say at Christmas you want to have, I love like a pine, Gracie, like a pine smell. You could put that in there, which I do that at winter time too. Or I could, you could do the on guard and the pine smell. So literally, it's just limitless upper, like potential of what you could do. So hand soaps for sure. Um, another thing I like to do and give as teacher gifts is take Epsom salt. So it's so cheap. Like, buy it at Target. Oh, good, Mandy. I'm sure you guys probably get your soap dump, too. So, I think this was a couple dollars. Epsom salt, really good for if you're, um, you or your child has high fever, if you're icky, if you have inflammation. Just, like, overall detox, Epsom salts are really good. I feel like they're totally overlooked as something really natural that you can do to take care of your body. But, love them. Um, our kids love them. They like dumping them in. So, what you can do, just going to take a scoop of the bath salts and then the, if you add if you just add an essential oil I'm gonna make a lavender if you just take an essential oil and dump it in your bath water it's not going to emulsify so it's just gonna sit as little droplets so that's why it's a really good idea and it makes sense to put them in Epsom salts so again so easy right I feel silly showing this because it's it's not hard <laughs> but um, so I'll just drop them in there I like to make little different concoctions too for different for teachers based on like what I think they like. If you wanted to make them color, there are certain things you can do, but I just like to keep them white and pretty. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, and it's it's so pretty and crystally. Um, I barely put any in there, and it's just like a really fun gift. This is like usually Christmas gifts for teachers. Um, Epsom salt bath, so good, so good. I was gonna show you one more thing. Oh, of course, okay, so, my, yes, my water has the lemon in there. You can just put drops of water. My friend Brandy loves to put the peppermint in her coffee. Just like one little drop of peppermint in the coffee or hot chocolate or just straight under your tongue for allergies. This is a, another good one. If you're just kind of have a headache, um, you can rub that on your temples. Again, carry oil is really good. Another thing I like to do with the roller balls and the oils in general, perfume. All right, so this, so I put this straight on my body, but you could make a roller ball. You, I have to try that. I keep on saying I'm gonna try it in the morning, I forget, but Mandy uses peppermint in her coffee too. I need to try that. I've made it for the boys in their hot chocolate. So good. All right, so this is Whisper. It is a blend. It's a women's blend, and it, just to kind of give you an idea, the first, um, so this already has fractionated coconut oil in it, so you don't need to dilute it. So it has patchouli, which is not, it's not the strongest note in it, I don't think. Um, patchouli, citrus, bergamot, mm, sandalwood, so good, rose, vanilla, jasmine, cinnamon, It's really small um, but it has like that it's not light it has like a deep smell to it but this is the thing like wearing oils as perfume you're not getting any of the plates the lights <laughs> I just read the word p h a l t e s so any of the, all the junk that they put in uh, perfumes, you're not getting any of that. You're also not getting half alcohol, right? Um, you can control how much scent you want. I've never in my life got a headache from wearing these, whereas like even perfumes I really like the way they smell, I get headaches from. Um, pregnant or just in any, crazy, shh. So that's like another thing. So you can use them um, all the time and I've never felt nauseous. So perfumes, they have a yoga collection too that I really like. Um, so cute. That's a good one to check out. All right, perfume, hand sanitizer. That's the only one I didn't do. All right, so same thing, um, pump bottle. I've reused. What brand are you? What brand are you using, Mandy? Because um, Mandy says she makes a roller ball of peppermint, eucalyptus, and lavender for headaches. That's. Yeah, that's such a good, like all those are just like, those oils are all so, so, so good. Um, I think it, it, 
I don't even have it because it's in my purse, but doTERRA makes one that's called Tension Eaves, but it's very similar, and I just constantly rub it on my neck. And the roller balls are nice, too, because you can kind of give yourself a little mini massage because you just crank the ball down into your the muscles in your neck, and it feels really good. Or, like, you can do the roller ball on your temples or, like, on your, your um, TMJ joint and just really get in there. But so same thing with the um, hand sanitizer. We have a, this in the car. You can put it in a spray bottle as well, like one of those short spray bottles. Um, so I do the coconut oil, put it in there. Same thing, do the on guard. I mean, on guard's like, you just wanna pretty much bathe in it. Hi, Darlena. We're talking essential oils. So, um, and then when the kids get in the car, like after we've been at the park, you just the oil and, um, I also have a lot of sensory kiddos too who are who like will not ref, or flat out refuse hand sanitizer regular but they'll use this so it just smells like the on guard mixed you know and then your hands are instead of being super dried out they're oily not too oily but they're just right you know they're not super dry um, and they have that the good smell on them so okay hand sanitizer let me know what oh I do one <laughs> I could go on forever I do another thing with the oils. I take borax, um, which you can just get at Kroger's or your grocery or anywhere. It's just like a natural cleaner. Take borax and then, uh, guys, what are you doing? Come here. I take borax and then put the essential oils in the borax powder. And then you sprinkle the powder all over the carpet. Um, the first time I did it, I wasn't sure how much I should do. And I probably went too late because um, I was like, I don't even need to vacuum it. They just kind of sunk down into the carpet and I thought, well, that's fine. I can just live there. Um, the next time I did a little bit more, then I vacuumed it out. But it's like those old school, I used to love, because I've always loved smells, but those old school like carpet powders that you would just like put on. Okay. Um, it's the powder that you throw down the carpet. I know it smells so good, but I'm sure it's just loaded with all kinds of junk. Um, Another thing you can do is add a little baking soda, but if your carpet really does stink, or not stink, but you know, it's lived lived in well. <laughs> it, yes, Emily's asking about oils for the night. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Um, so then you sprinkle the, the borax and baking soda down, and then I just kind of like rub the powders in the carpet, and then, and then let it sit for like a couple hours and then vacuum it up. Doggy, do you want to go outside? I'm going to let the dogs out. Come on. Um, yeah, okay, so they're, they make a couple nighttime blends. Dotier now has like a kid friendly, a whole kid friendly rollerball line, what they come already made to, and there is one for nighttime, but chamomile, so good, and of course, lavender, so good for sleep. Um, that's what we do for the boys if they're not sick. Um, other people drop some melatonin gummies. Just saying that could be an option too, not an essential oil, but there's a couple other tips and tricks that I use sometimes and my, some of my friends use too. They're at the store. I feel like it's more um, common practice now because they're at the store. Like Kroger's, not like a Whole Foods, but even Kroger's in the aisle, the melatonin gummies for kids. So that might be an idea. All right, I think, so yeah, basically the moral of the story is they can be used a thousand different ways and you can use them just in the way that you want that's right for you and your family. Um, you can get like so many, like a starter kit. They have like a wellness starter kit or like a healthy home starter kit, or you can just start with like three, you know? So, so many options, but I do, I feel like the money that I spend on them is, you know, made up for and not buying cleaners and hand soaps. And, you know, I use, I use them for countertops, floors, I mean, it's just endless. So when you're making your own, I mean, cleaning products are so expensive that I feel like if you're ma you're making your own, that you save a ton of money. That's what I think. That's what I tell Doug. Um, but I do believe in them. I love them. They just have so many good benefits. Um, I will say, if it's a citrus oil, you have to be they're photosens photosensitive, so be careful in the sun. If it's a citrus oil, like there's one called Citrus Bliss, which is amazing. What a, that I absolutely love. It's like a vanilla lavender. I mean, a vanilla citrus smell that's so good. Um, 
And then when you're buying oils, if you're going to be putting them on your body or in your body, I would just make sure they are therapeutic grade. I think like the two bigger brands, of course, are um, doTERRA and Young Living. A friend of mine that does muscle testing um, tested plant therapy, which I do have a few of those before I got my wholesale account. Um, and they, those tested okay, but with my wholesale account, the doTERRA oils are just as affordable and I know the research is so, so extensive on their effectiveness and how they extract the oils and it's all very fancy science. Um, so if you're so if you're buying an oil, just make sure they don't have anything added to it. Um, I have some from just like random stores that I've accumulated or I've just looked at them and they have fragrance added. So you definitely don't want a fragrance added to your essential oil because your essential oil is the fragrance, right? So make sure there's no nothing added to it. The only thing that would be added would be a carrier oil. But you know, unless it's a you know most most are don't have the carrier oils added. Um, so let me know what questions you have about the oils. If you want to smell any, you're welcome to. I have so many, but honestly, I use just about everything here. Um, they make some really fun Christmas scents too. Um, oh, and oh, I told you I would keep on thinking about them. I'll show you. Well, you know the, the wax warmers that are kind of big right now? So I have a wax warmer from Target. And then, of course, I bought the wax the first time. I'm like, well, that's too expensive. So then instead of using the wax warmer, I do coconut oil in the wax warmer. Not the, diffraction, not the fractionated, but just the regular coconut oil that's a solid. Then I add my essential oils to that and then plug it in. And then I get the benefits of the essential oil. I, I save the money. And then because you're using the coconut oil when it's not hot, when the, when the light's not turned on, it's a solid so my kids don't spill it. And then if they do spill it, it's clear, whereas the oil, the little wax tabs I bought are, are colored and um, it looked disastrous when they, when they bumped it. But so again, you can use them in the wax warmers. Um, in general, oils should not be warmed. So you're, you're losing a little bit of the medicinal properties if they're in a wax warmer. But um, I don't do like my most expensive oils in the wax warmer. I'll do like something that's the, the less expensive oil, you know, or like a Christmas blend or something like that that I'm not gonna be putting in my body or ingesting like I would the lemon or the lime or the peppermint or um, the on guard. I also gargle. <laughs> I also gargle with the on guard and water for sore throats and it's awesome. It, um, it kind of numbs it and heals it at the same time. I think the clove numbs it. I think a clove is what they use in a lot of the natural um, toothache medicine for babies because it has that numbing property. So that's my favorite throat spray also. All right. Maybe I'll think of more things, maybe not. Um, let me know what questions you have. Yeah, Mandy, try the wax warmer. And it's like, it has a nice ambiance too, and you don't always have to be filling up with water like the diffusers. Um, if you're interested in diffusers, again, everybody, like they're on sale everywhere now. I tend to get most of mine through Amazon. I have a few through doTERRA, um, but the smaller ones in all the kids' bedrooms, I mean, they're like 20, 30, 40. You can get a really big one for $45 or $50. So the diffusers you don't have to spend a lot of money on, I don't think. And I think that's it. Um, other things, I'm looking at my sweatshirt. Okay, if you guys don't have this sweatshirt from Athleta, just go get it. It is the most comfortable thing ever. My neighbor got one and I couldn't resist and got one and now I have like one in four or five colors because I can't take it off in the fall and winter. It's not too heavy not too light it's super cozy and so so soft it kind of covers your butt a little bit if you're wearing leggings anyhow it's so so good so love it athleta athleta i don't know how you say it um okay drop your questions below if you're catching this on the replay if you will just type replay below pretty please that would be awesome and if you think someone if you know someone that would be interested in this if you'll just share that as well that would be awesome Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Mandy. Hey, Beth. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. I'll get to talk to you guys soon.